Hey guys, this is my review of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, the Singul... S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode... 6... Episode 15, The Singularity. So... Basic... So... Even though the hangar's busted... The hangar door's busted thanks to Daisy being under Hive's control. Maze is still able to maneuver the Zephyr out of the hangar. Coulson still says that he plans to get her back in spite of being under Hive's control. And after the Fitzsimmons study of the brain activity after the spores infecting Hive, that and apparently it doesn't turn them into like these like rob robotic drones and apparently affects their the pleasure centers of their brain. And almost they become addicted to the spores and addicted to Hive. But they still retain their personalities and as shown by how Daisy's still acting like herself for the most part, and and is still, you know, following Hive, even though he's inhabited Ward's body, and says that he's glad Ward's dead, and Hive say, says that Ward is glad too, in a sense, and they, and the team figures out that a doctor named J Rat, James Radcliffe has some information on, like, has some information about how to reverse the effects of Hive. So Fitzsimmons are sent undercover to go talk to the doctor and bring, I guess, like the retinal scan technology that was used on Deathlock as a ways to, like, you know, woo him over and impress him. And while they're there, they turn off their comms and talk about taking their relationship to the next level, which means, you know, how they're worried about sex changing everything, and when they're taking into this, um, OR, they're told they have to operate on somebody, and Simmons is about to put a syringe in his eye, it re she realizes that it's a fake, and that it's Radcliffe himself, which is being, who's being played by John Hanna from the Mummy Trilogy, who says he just wanted He's into like transhumanism and how everybody's modified through artificial means, and he's not a big fan of how inhumans are modifying themselves the way they are. And when the, he f realizes that there were Shield, he assumes that based on what happened at the end of season one, that Shield and Hydra are one and the same, and they agreed to be taken into custody, who were separated or taken captive until the inhumans under Hive's control and Kathleen Daisy um, and basically just ambush everybody. But showing that Colson has become more Jack Bauer-esque as the series goes along, he forces Lincoln that he's going to come on their mission with him in May. He has to wear an explosive vest in case he runs into Hive or somebody or somebody else that can brainwash him. So, and May calls it, and May and Lincoln call him out on the fact that he's willing to be so ruthless and sacrifice others but he's not but he's willing to treat um, Daisy differently and not go through the same ruthlessness with her. And even though Coulson may come to the realization that S.H.I.E.L.D. never filled that void of not having a family, that Coulson still sees Daisy as the daughter that he never had. And first they go to confront um, Alicia, who's like the redheaded inhuman who can like duplicate herself. But it turns out that Hive already brainwashed her, and he ambu and he attacks Lincoln, and Lincoln threatens to kill one of her clones and torture her unless they tell unless she tells him where Daisy is. But Alicia shoots the clone in the head, and then and then Alicia shot in the head by Coulson, and it turns out that she's another clone, and that the real Alicia was in um an open like this open was out in the um, out in the mountains on the hike, you know, outside of the skirts of Los Angeles with Hive, and like I said, already been brainwashed. And so Daisy and Hive go to ambush James, who's the Australian douchebag who Lincoln introduced her to a few episodes prior, and they they use the terror they have not undergo terror Terrigenesis, and he realizes he can cause things to spontaneously combust every time he touches them, and then in order to get c control of his powers, um, Hive infects him and turns him into one of his followers, and 
James gives them access to a Kree artifact that has the power to kill Hive. And so Coulson tries to go to the trailer where James is, but there's already explosives rigs to kill both him and May. And poetically enough, he has an energy shield in his artificial arm that shields him and May from the rigged explosives. And says that, well, he, he figured that the director of shield should have, should have an energy shield and fits like the idea, so they just went along with it. And, of course, getting back to the am it was getting back to the ambush Fitz is confronted by Daisy who almost uses her powers to nearly choke him to this saying that he had a she had a vision knowing that from the other inhuman knowing that somebody was gonna die in the team and that did not come after him or she'll kill the team and then Hive channeling um, Will tries to get under Simmons' skin and says that Will wants her to be happy and that she's glad that she's moved on and even though it clearly affects Simmons, she still shoots Hyde and is able to escape and they escape back to a rendezvous point at a hotel when they have basic where Fitz Simmons basically has you know, glad to be alive sex after Mac leaves and apparently and apparently they capture James Radcliffe with the plans on using his expertise and they bought out a whole a whole town in which they're going to replicate the experiment that turn Hive into what he is and he basically wants to turn everybody in the planet into an inhuman. And so overall I thought it was a very I really like this episode. I'm enjoying this whole what they call on ABC the Fallen Asian arc in which um you know, it's kind of interesting to have this going on at the same time while well, Captain America Civil War, they're basically going to have another conflict going on on a smaller scale in which, you know, the Avengers are fighting with another. Meanwhile, like, you know, this is alien force basically ready to take over the planet. And the, the trailer shows us they're going to have um, Kree in the next episode, which is pretty exciting. And I'm just wondering how this is going to tie into or even have any effects on the events of Civil War. Since the preview also said it was going to be a sneak peek, a sneak peek of that. So, um, what do you guys think of the episode? What do you guys think of you know Daisy being evil but still kind of like being self-aware of who she is, and the humans still being self-aware of who of who they are, and, and not being like strict mind control? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.